live in the central Turkey and the tourists are not visiting this part because of the sea. No, no, no. This is truly snow experience and we are here for 2024 FIM Snowcross World Championship. Definitely worth it to see also the Kaiser City just down under this ski resort. Let's go! We climbed down here to the pools in Kaiser City and it used to be like this since forever. Because this is the oldest civilization in the world dating 6,000 years ago and it's really amazing how empire changed empire and now the wisdom of the place and the unique atmosphere is just everywhere. Country snorkel is coming for the very first time and now I think that that would be worth it to see what has happened last year. Let's come again to Norway to Kirkenes. <laughs> In the first race, all the big hitters were to the inside. Elias Ishuel, Aki Pilaka and Petter Nasa, but it was the newcomer Toppy Posti on the 43 with the whole shot. On the move, though, was Pilaka on the 128, who had now advanced into the lead. And behind him, Ishuel on the 200 was up to second as Nasa, the defending champ, moved into third at the expense of Posti, who ran wide. Pilaka held a narrow margin over Ishuel until backmarkers allowed Ishuel to take advantage, passing Pilaka for the lead. Ishuel, Pilaka and Nasa fought a hard race though in race one, but in the end, the win belonged to Elias Ishuel from Pilaka and Nasa. In the second final, this time around, Ishuel held the tight line and was rewarded with the whole shot as Pilaka and Gustav Salston emerged second and third. But Salston passed Pilaka for second, Nasa sat in fourth, and the turning point came when defending champion Petter Nasa landed on the back of Gustav and crashed out at third. The battle raged on up front, though, between Ishuel, Pilaka and Salston until Ishuel crashed out of the lead in spectacular fashion. Fortunately, he was able to rejoin the race, but not before Pilaka had cruised by and into the lead. In the end, though, it was a comfortable win for Pilaka on the 128, who also claimed his first Snowcross World Championship title. And the overall results in the 2023 FIM Snowcross World Championship, Aki Pilaka of Finland was your winner, Ishuel was second and Gustav Salston finished in third. Sucker Psychology from Turkey and Italian Michele Donatsan, they are going to show us one lap here in Turkey with the GoPro on their helmets. Probably one of the best looking tracks we've seen in the Snowcross World Championship for a while. The start straight, not so much of a straight, but an uphill gradual left-hand turn, tightening up on the summit. And as you can see, a short little straight before dropping downhill through a series of waves, really making use of the hillside here. Through the bottom right-hander turn two. Again, we head back up through 180, uphill in the opposite direction. The circuit a little bit narrow at this point, but when we do get to the top, we do swing through this left-hander. Again, a short little straight. That will probably develop into more of a sweeping turn, but again, we drop back downhill through this sweeping right-hander. A single jump here, maybe just to challenge the riders a little bit. A couple of single jumps on the way up the hillside again for the third time then. And then again, we just peter out through a single. We go left. And then we charge downhill towards the finish line area. We have a couple of singles here. We kink left, a couple more rollers. We go right and then left again. And then we head towards the finish line area. And from that point, we keep continuing down towards the start straight, which will be to the rider's right-hand side. And once we pass the finish line here, we swing through the left and back onto the start straight. Welcome back.
back in action. In Paddock, teams from nine countries are getting ready for tomorrow's big show, and we are going to have a chat with some of them. I love being here in Kayseri's Turkey. It's just so amazing weather. And what better way to celebrate Ladies' Day at the World Championship. We're three ladies racing with the boys. Gonna give it more than 100%. Strong ladies on the big machines. So I'm so looking forward to this amazing event and everything it has to bring uh, because this place is just magical. Just wanna say hey and goodbye. I'm a motocross rider in Turkey. Uh, I ride the first time in snowcross. I'm really excited for this race. Uh, I'm really happy to represent my nation. I come from Switzerland, in uh, Trelef, in between Geneva and Lausanne. And uh, I make a snowmobile in uh, 10 years ago. I began my, uh, my career in Switzerland. And this year I want to, uh, to, to have a big dream to make the World Championship in Turkey. So it's my first time in World Championship and in Turkey. So it's the biggest experience. The atmosphere here is really thrilling and we are going to start this championship with a qualifying race. A couple of new rules then for the 2024 series. Qualifying points will count towards the championship, but not the overall classification of the Grand Prix. And just like in Motocross World Championship, 10 for a win, right the way down to 10th, where you pick up one point for the win. In the Group 1 first qualifying race, it was the American Jesse Kirschmeyer who led from Magnus Reeton. Robert London was there in third place. There was no real change in the lead group as Kirschmeyer continued to lead under the watchful eye of the Norwegian duo. And despite his efforts, Reeton was not able to find a way past, and it was Kirschmeyer who went on to take the win. Group one, race two. Jesse Kirschmeyer once again with a hole shot. Federico Amadei alongside him. Although Magnus Reeton was quickly past the Italian and into second on the first downhill. Once again, though, the top two from race one provided the entertainment. And just like in race one, it was Kirschmeyer who went on to win from Reiten. It was two well-deserved victories. Amazing job. Thank you. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, we all come all the way out here. You know, I'm from the USA, so this is my first time. You know, being able to come to the other side of the world and uh, the views out here are amazing, the people, the fans, you know, I can't, uh, can't thank everyone enough for putting it on, you know, the FIM, it's, uh, it's an amazing event. In the first qualifying race of Group 2, this time it was Elias Backer on the 307 with the whole shot, the Austrian finding his way to the front. Mirsky Riesenen and Martin Johansson were close behind, but it was Backer who enjoyed a brief spell at the front, but it was eventually caught and passed by Martin Johansson. And it was the Swede, Johansson, who went on to take the win in race one. In race two, this time it was Johansson on the 179 with a hole shot. And from there, nobody saw which way he went, eventually winning by more than 10 seconds from Christopher Holm of Norway. It must feel very sweet, this victory, right? Yeah, it feels good. It started off pretty good. P1, P1. So that's good. Perfectly, and what are you planning for tomorrow? P1 also. <laughs> Definitely, yes, thanks. Thank you. As always with an event like this, the opening ceremony taking place the day before the event. And what an occasion it is to have the FIM Snowcross World Championship here in Turkey. Fantastic location, great hillside circuit. 
Let the fun and games begin, ladies and gentlemen. girls together. Heat one. An inside gate choice for Martin Johansson, but quickly gets squeezed to the inside by the American Kirschmar, and you see the after effects from the onboard there of Johansson as he's buried in around about 10th place through the first turn at the top of the hill. Up front, though, Jesse Kirschmar, the leader, with a good lead early on, clearly having fun on the Turkish hillside here this weekend. Didn't really know what to expect. First time out of the US, this part of the world, and really making a good go of it here. On his first visit, looking very, very comfortable, charging downhill, uphill, really, really putting his skills to the test. Magnus Reeton on the 999, now up to third after starting in fifth, looking to close down the leaders after taking second in both Group 1 qualifying races. And on board with Johansson, struggling to make up ground after that poor start early on. Kelly Collier, one of the women in the race, 14th and having fun out there on the slopes. Kevin Empel and Mirski Riesenen, 10th and 11th. They're about to be lapped by Kirschmeier there on the 42, who is making it look very, very easy. A little bit further back. Oli Herman, Sjogren, under pressure in second as Magnus Reeton closes in now. Fantastic battle for these two guys as the circuit changing throughout the race. Problems for Martin Johansson then, lingering issues possibly after clipping the bank at the start. He's about to go a lap down to Kirschmeier, the rider who put him in the bank on the start of the race there, the number 42. An intense battle now, though, between Kirschmeier and Magnus Reeton. But who will it be that hangs on for the win? Well, certainly, Kirschmeier doing all he can to stay there. Cannot blink, cannot afford a mistake. And once again, Reeton up the inside, looking to find a way through, desperate to find a way through. He's running out of time, though. One last charge, one last roll of the dice. And in the end, it's Kirschmeier who wins race one. Classification then, Kirschmeier wins it from Magnus Rieten and Oli Hermann Sjogren, with Backer and Home rounding out the top five. to be here in Turkey, Kayseri. It's, it's going to be a very cool event here. Yeah, I'm excited for the racing and the, the race now with the boys this weekend. It's going to be a new experience and I'm very happy to be here. Hello, Mart here from Sweden. We're here down in Turkey in Kayseri, going for the first round of the World Championship. It's going to be really fun. See something new. I've never been in Turkey before, so this is something new for me and for a lot of every other riders here. So, but we're aiming for the win, and uh, it's going to be a fun weekend. Hi everyone, I'm Jesse Kirschmeier. First time here in Turkey, traveled all the way from the USA. Man, we're excited, they put on a uh, great race, so we're gonna go out there and see what we can do. The time for heat two, and now we are going to see who is going to be the winner of the Turkish round of the free part FIM Sofros World Championship.
The second snowcross final then, and over on the far side, four riders, Kirschmeyer, Rieten, Backer, and Danatsen, heading uphill, close, bar to bar, but once again, Johansson getting squeezed to the inside, just like he did in race one. Top of the hill, though, three riders side by side as they dispute the whole shot. Michele Danatsen in third place at the moment behind Kirschmeyer and Backer, but will he lose out? Yes, he will, bottom of the hill. Reeton and home finding their way past the Italian. Meanwhile, Jesse Kirschmeyer on the 42. The American leads once again. Elias Backer of Austria is in second. Christopher Home third on the 610. And Magnus Reeton there, the 999 in fourth. Reeton with work to do if he's to better his second place in race one. Kirschmeyer looking comfortable up front once more, though, as he's pressed this time by Backer in second. And where's Reeton? Well, there he is. He's now up in the third place. Michele Donatson, who was seventh in race one, under pressure here from Martin Johansson, who we're on board with as he tries to find a way through, fails on this attempt to find his way past. Kirschmeyer, looking good though. There's Johansson, he's now in fifth. Elias Backer uh, has closed in though on the leader, Jesse Kirschmeyer. Are we gonna see a challenge for the lead between these two? Well, how about three riders? Because all of a sudden, Magnus Reeton has joined the party, looking to make a move, and he has moved into second in the very next turn and charging after the leader. Can he find a way through, though? Robert London in 10th, Kevin Empel in 11th, and Ida Rozelle on the 60, getting passed by Federico Amadei. And we've got a new leader. Magnus Reeton has found his way past Kirschmeyer for the lead. The American not making it easy for the new leader, though. He's still there, ready to pounce. But Reeton in control. And Reeton wins race two, and with it, the SNX GP of Turkey. Fantastic ride for Magnus Reeton. All smiles down there, and no wonder. Picking up his first SNX victory. Classification then of that second race. Reeton wins it from Kirschmeyer, Elias Backer, Martin Johansson, and Christopher Home running out the top five. Magnus, that was an amazing race. I mean, you are crazy. Yeah. Oh, what can I say? <laughs> can say thank you. <laughs> that was a really tough battle. I mean... Yeah, it was so hard to get past in the first hit. And I get to the pedal and uh, say to myself, I'm going to... Next hit, I'm going to pass everyone and take the win. And you just did it because after first hit, you seemed super angry. Yeah, but that's so hard to pass out there, so... I, I have the speed inside me and I uh, change myself and can ride much faster. So it's like a frustration when you're coming back and get the second place. So I, the second hit, I want to go all in. And you really did it all in. So what's your promise for another round? Yeah, that's the win too for this uh, second and third round in the World, World Cup. Congratulations. Thank you. The overall classification then looks like this. Magnus Rieten from Jesse Kirschmeyer and Elias Backer. They're the top three riders on the top steps of the podium this weekend here in Turkey. But with the points from the qualifying races, of course, Jesse Kirschmeyer will head to round two with the championship leaders, Red Plate, edging out. Magnus Rieten and Elias Backer, they are the top three in the championship. Three riders did take part in the women's category this weekend, although they didn't score women's championship points. That'll be at rounds two and three. But congratulations to the three riders who did show up here. Ida Russell, Samantha Gillieran, and Kelly Collier of the United States of America. Nice practice ahead of their second and third rounds. Third overall this weekend, though, in the men's category, the Austrian Elias Backer, who has just recently recovered from a dislocated shoulder, so he is more than pleased with that third place finish here this weekend. Second overall, the American Jesse Kirschmeyer got that win in race one, had to be content with second in race two, but he is the championship leader heading to round two. The overall victory, though, this weekend at the opening round belongs to the Norwegian Magnus Rieten. What a fantastic day for him and for his Norwegian fans as well. Congratulations, the top three. Magnus Rieten, Jesse Kirschmeyer, Elias Backer. As the winner of the first round of Magnus Rieten. 
here we go. We are at the end of the first round of the FIM Snowcross World Championship here in Turkey in Kayseri. And it was Magnus Reiten from Norway who did a really great job and took an overall victory of the weekend. But the red plate goes to the USA riders Jesse Kirchmeier. During the first round here in Turkey, we experienced almost all kind of weather. Because we are here in a really high altitude and it means that we experienced foggy weather, then snow, rain and also sunshine. Of course, not even weather, but also the track was very challenging for the riders. There are still two rounds to go, both in April. First, we will go to the Finland and then we will finish whole championship in Kirkenes in Norway. And I believe that you won't miss any action because we are posting everything on our socials media and also on our brand new webpage, worldsnowcross.com. Bye bye and see you soon.